Pump up a 260 balloon about three-fourths of the way. Make a four finger bubble. Do a pinch twist and pull out while you twist, centering the twist in the middle of the four finger bubble. Then push the nozzle into the hole and pull it out the other side to lock it into place. This will be the rabbit's head. Make a six or seven finger bubble. Then make a second bubble the same length and twist them together. These will be the rabbit's ears. Squeeze the remainder of the balloon to soften it. Then make a one finger bubble. Make another one finger bubble. And twist those two bubbles together. These will be the rabbit's front feet. Squeeze the remainder of the balloon again to soften it. Then make a four finger bubble. This will be the rabbit's body. Hold the rabbit's body in place while you make a two finger bubble. Make another two finger bubble the same size as the first. Twist the two finger bubbles together. Those will make the rabbit's back legs. Make one more two finger bubble. Pinch the end of the two finger bubble and cut off the tip of the balloon. Tie the end of the balloon in a knot. Do a pinch twist. And wrap the tail of the balloon around the rabbit's tail. Then stick it through the back legs. Pinch the rabbit's body and pull up. That will give its back an arched look as if it's jumping. Squeezing the bubble together from both sides can also add to the arched look. Now all that's left is drawing on a face. The supplies you'll need to make this bunny are a pump, a 260 balloon, scissors, and a sharpie. If you'd like to buy the pump or the 260 balloons online, I will put links in the description below.